Next up, a very funny and very quick-footed individual, Mr. Jesse the Jackhammer Baldridge. <laughs> Quick-footed, but not quick-witted. Uh, I am not wearing this shirt ironically, I'm just a huge nerd. Um, I am very happy to be in the rendezvous. It literally translates to the date, which I don't know why you'd want to go on a date here. It's the only place in the entire campus you have no reception. So, of course, someone's going to be waiting upstairs in the front of the sub, like everyone always is, any lunch period. You see someone like sitting there on their phone, pretending they're busy. Really, they're like playing Brick Breaker, hoping no one will notice them. Maybe like changing all the names in their contacts to capital letters. Uh, let's see now. Wave of the future. I have a horrible memory, and so I'm using this. Um, <laughs> see, this always happens. I never know what to say during like improv shows. I'm always so freaked out. I think I'm just gonna come on and just like, well, uh. That's me! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice now that uh, you don't really have to work at dating. You just, you just kind of hook up and it just happens. And uh, I mean, you know, if, if you actually go on a normal date, they, that, I think that would scare the shit out of me. You know, someone asks you, what's your type? That's, you don't realize it, but it's such a loaded question, that would scare the shit out of me. You, you're trying to, trying to think of something that won't offend them. You're like, uh, uh, you, except pr prettier? Uh, I, I, I meant taller. No, uh, uh, it, it's because it's you wear Converse. You know, you, you gotta hit them where it hurts. Something, something they, they can't change about themselves. Uh, like me. People, people say I'm Asian and I believe them because I play video games and have squinty eyes. <laughs> as long as we're on the subject, you know, those Japanese people, they're crazy. Year happens to be the 30th anniversary of this show called uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Which is, <laughs> it's, this, it's the quintessential giant robot show. So to commemorate this, they built a life-size one. It's like 60 feet tall, and it's in the middle of Japan. Okay, so yeah, they're like, yeah, fuck nukes, we got a giant robot, it holds a beam sword as long as our well, well it's long. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had to have been drunk when they were thinking about this. But you know, alcohol's great. Alcohol, alcohol helps us through all our problems. You know, even, even adults. When you get older, you, I think you have to use alcohol. Anytime I've seen any adults get together, boom, they break up the booze immediately. And it helps. I don't know, they can't stand each other. They want to become hermits. There's, the last time I saw my stepmom's parents, my stepmom's family, her sister said to her dad, you said on your 50th birthday you either wanted to leave the country because you didn't want to see anyone or you were going to drink champagne the entire night. And then you realized you couldn't leave the country because Danielle had her, my stepmom, had her graduation. And he goes, huh, I have no recollection of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and next up, oh, alcohol is still great even when you're young. But <laughs> Like Homer Simpson says, it's the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. I just, I think the adults have it right. You just break it out, you start drinking immediately. I don't, I don't like all these theme parties that are, it's like a fad now. It, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. What's the point of like, you're going to run out of ideas eventually. And pretty soon people are going to be saying like, let's have a Russian theme party. We'll just, we'll just turn the air conditioning down to like 20 degrees. I don't think anyone's thermostat goes that low, but uh, hey, we can have the party outside. We'll just, we'll sprinkle some radiation around for some heat. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I think it's, I, I think it's nice that people enjoy themselves that way. I just, <laughs> with radiation. <laughs> You know, uh, Ra <laughs> Raleigh said, uh, I was, I was quick-footed, it's kind of true. I, I think a lot of my cynicism comes from uh, the people I've had to deal with as, as my coaches. My, my coach in high school 
we, uh, we, we took bets a lot of times. Anytime he spoke to us, we took bets to see whether he'd say fuck or mk more. <laughs> and uh, we, had, we had quite the experience. It was always that uh, at, at each other's throats thing. We had to like, we had to ban certain topics of, con topics of conversation. Or just speaking at all for some people. Uh, we couldn't talk about religion because, I don't know. Maybe God exists, maybe he doesn't. And then we couldn't talk about we couldn't talk about politics because we had some people that liked to. Uh, this was right around the 04 election, and we would come and either throw the signs as far as we could up into trees so our teammates couldn't get them, or we'd rip them apart and talk, tear them in front of our teammates to piss them off. Uh, so that turned into that. Then uh, he stopped babysitting us, and then we started winning, which was um, fun. Uh, and then now that I'm in college, we have our, uh, our wonderful, wonderful coach who um, is basically the same. I went from one coach o to the other coach o. Uh, he has He has his nice little catchphrases. There's, uh, you gotta take care of business, fast and relaxed, which I don't want to apply to any other part of my life. <laughs> And then, uh, lots of liquids, which you can take however you want. I, he, he has this one, it's his trademark, his signature, he'll, he'll sit down and I, he, he likes to wear sweatpants, which, you know, they, they kind of hug. And so he'll sit down and just kind of spread his knees out. He'll sit there, if, if there's a ledge, how's it going? And he'll just... Keep on talking, you know. Doesn't matter. Hit it. It'll slap in near thighs, and you know, hit, off in his own little world, just talking about mm, whatever the. I don't know. I never listen. That's why. I, you know, it. Whatever works. Whatever works. And I guess, I guess that works for him. This, this guy's crazy. He'll get. He'll get up when I'm going to bed. He's here at like four in the morning. There can't possibly be that much work for a coach to do. He, he, what did he have to do? Like. Sit online, beat off to ESPN.com, <laughs> take, take a nap. He has pillows in his, in his office. I know he takes naps. He says he doesn't, he does. <laughs> and then what, come outside and yell at us. I don't know. So then there's, there's, there's the teammates. There's always, there's always the fun teammates. I had this guy, this guy on my team who, he, he would every single day to practice, polo shirt, khakis. No, this, he, he didn't change. He just wore a polo shirt and khakis, running. I, 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 I like, I cringe to think about the chafage you get from that. Like, how, 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 unless it's like, he wasn't Japanese though. Well, that's me, bye.